Okay, so now that you have seen how Euler rotations work with these internal ring systems, we're going to take a look at how to understand the information being presented over here by these ring systems visually inside the 3D view. Now, when you go through this lesson, it is also going to get you ready to understand the idea behind quaternion and axis angle rotation mode. So go under File, do New, and do Reload a Startup File. Press the A key to select everything, do X and Delete. Press the 7 key to go to your top view and press the 5 key to go into orthographic view. Go ahead and zoom in. Do Shift A and over here you're going to add a circle. Make sure that this is set on nothing and over here you're going to type in 360 and enter. Go ahead and zoom in a bit more. Go ahead and open this up. So here you can see, based on the scale of the circle, this is really just a unit circle. So if you want to have a better understanding of how Blender calculates rotations, you can look at it from the point of view of the unit circle. Now press the tab key to go into edit mode, do Alt E and extrude and vertices only, right click to cancel press the s key to scale this in a bit press the tab key so each individual line represents a degree meaning that here we have 360 degrees going around this circle do shift a and add a plane now press the tab key to go into edit mode, press the G key, press the control key down and put the corner of this plane on its origin point. Go ahead and zoom out, do shift middle mouse button and click on this for a text press to shift you down, click on this one. Click on this red arrow, press the control key down and align it to the edge of the circle. Go ahead and click on this for a text press to shift you down, click on this one. Click on this uh, green arrow, press the control key down and bring it down so it comes to about on these two small grid units. Go ahead and now zoom in. Press the tab key. So what this is representing is the radius of your circle. You can press the R key to get a visual understanding of this. Right click to cancel. Press the tab key to go back into edit mode and go ahead and now zoom in. You're going to Hover your mouse here in the middle and do Control R. You should get a pink line. Using your scroll wheel, we're going to give this plane 10 segments. So here is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and now 10. Left click and then right click. Now here what I want you to do is press the A key to select everything go ahead and zoom out until you see the big units do shift middle mouse button you're going to do shift d to duplicate this radius right click to cancel click on this red arrow press the control key down and align it with the other radius so now we have a two radius do shift middle mouse button to pan over here do shift d to duplicate this radius again right click to cancel click on this red arrow press the control key down and align it again now we have a three radius. Go ahead and now zoom in, click on this, press the shift key down, click on this one, this one, this one. Do shift D to duplicate, right click to cancel, click on this red arrow, press the control key down and align it again with that radius. So now we have a three radius point one. Now go ahead and zoom in, click on this, press the shift key down, click on this one, do shift D to duplicate, right click to cancel click on this red arrow and just park it over here go to your calculator it needs to be a scientific calculator and click on pi you can see here that the value of pi is 3.14159 basically this is three radius and a bit more what this is talking about is half of a circle a full circle is 2 pi so here we're going to enter this value 3.14159 over here type in 3.14159 and then enter go ahead and click on this vertex press the shift key down click on this one this one this one and now do f 
go ahead and uh, zoom out press the A key to select everything you're going to do a W and now do remove doubles this is to ensure that any overlapping vertices are removed and this entire object is now just one in edit mode now do X and here you're going to do delete only the faces now press the tab key to go into object mode click on this red arrow press the control key down and go ahead and align it to the edge of the circle press the R key press the control key down and rotate this by a 90 now what we're going to do is take this value of pi and conform it to the half of the circle go to the modifiers tab and over here you're going to click on simple deform and click on bend over here we're going to type in 180 because that is what a half of circle is here you can see that the value of pi perfectly matches the half of a circle so what we want to do now is go ahead and click on this button and now press the tab key to go into edit mode what this simply does is allows you to see the bend in edit mode here we're going to switch to edge select we're going to press the C key and delete some of these edges so this is one two three four five six seven eight and then nine skip this one one two three four five six seven eight nine skip this one one two three four five six seven eight then nine then skip this one and just get this last guy over here right click to cancel do X and go ahead and delete these edges now press the tab key so here you can see that when we map the three radiuses that we created which is the value of pi this is what it looks like visually okay now what I want you to do is go under file do save as in here we're going to save this as rotation concepts 11 dot blend okay so go ahead and click on this object do shift D to duplicate right click to cancel now here you're going to press the tab key to go into edit mode and switch to vertex select press the A key to select everything go ahead and switch this to active element press the shift key down and deselect this vertex and select it again to bring the 3d manipulator over here click on this red arrow press the control key down and just align it to the edge of this circle do shift middle mouse button and go ahead and zoom in click on this vertex press the shift key down this one and now press F to create an edge press the tab key to go into object mode go ahead and apply this modifier now press the tab key to go back into edit mode now press the G key two times to go into edge slide press the control key down and here you're just going to align this with this green line go ahead and now zoom out over here now here you're going to press the A key to deselect everything press the C key and go ahead and use your scroll wheel to make the circle select a little bigger and go ahead and just select all of these vertices over here right click to cancel do X and go ahead and delete the vertices now switch to edge select click on this edge over here do X and you're going to delete the edge now press the tab key to go into object mode what this is representing is a value of a one conform to a 90 degree rotation around this circle this is the value of pi and this is the circle representing 360 degrees what I want you to do now is do shift a and add an empty and plain axis over here type in 45 and enter you're interested in where this line is going go ahead and click over here press the tab key to go into edit mode switch this to vertex select press the A key to select everything go ahead and zoom in do shift middle mouse button 
So what we're going to do is click on this vertex and this vertex and create an edge. Go ahead and click this, press the shift key down, click on this one, do F to create an edge. Now over here, we're going to align this edge with this line, which represents 45 degrees. So press the G key two times to go into edge, slide, and do this very slowly until you've aligned it. Left click to confirm, and now press the tab key to go back into object mode and go ahead and now zoom out. Now what we're going to do is click on this value of pi and see where the division is when it's halved. So now you're going to press the tab key to go into edit mode. Go ahead and zoom in, do shift middle mouse button and run over here. Simply going to click on this vertex, press the shift key on uh, this one, do a W and over here we're just going to do a subdivide. Now go ahead and click on this vertex, press the shift key on this one, do a W and subdivide. Now click on this vertex, press the shift key on this one and here we're going to do F. Now over here press the tab key to go back into object mode and over here we're going to have to apply this. Now press the tab key. Go ahead and press the G key two times to go into edge slide. Press the control key down and align it to this green line. Go ahead and click on this vertex. Press the E key to extrude. Right click to cancel and just bring it down. This is just a visual thing that we can see where the half of the value of pi is. Okay. Now go ahead and park this over here. And now what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and do file and save. Okay, so what I want you to do now is uh, go ahead and pause the video and write this information down. Okay, so what we are looking at here is basically the idea behind the unit circle and how Blender uses the concept of the unit circle to calculate rotations. So what I want you to do first is go ahead and bring up your calculator. If you take the value of 1 which is represented by this and if you divide this by 2 you of course are going to get 0.5 because we split the value of 1 in two parts. If you take the value of 1 and divide it by 3, then of course you're going to get 0.333, okay? Now, if we take a look at the value of pi, and if we simply divide this by 2, then we're going to get this number, 1.570. This is what this line is representing. Now, if you take this value of pi which is really just one radius and a half and a bit more and now if you divide this by pi itself which is really just a three uh, radians right 0.14 you will get 0.5 just like how we got 0.333 when you divide the half of pi by pi itself you're going to get this value so what do you do with this value is you simply now can go to this uh, circle which is representing 360 degrees and you can take a look at this one degree. If you take this value on the calculator you can see that here it's just half a degree. So now if we take this value times this by 180 of course we're going to get 90 degrees right visually this is how this concept is working now if you want to do it the traditional way you can say that okay visually we understand in our minds that we want to take the value of one and here we're going to times it by pi which of course is going to give us pi then we can divide that by two which will give us 1.57 then we can divide that by pi again, which will give us this number. Then we can times it by 180, which will give us 90 degrees. See, over here, we took 0.5, 
divided by a pipe and times it by 180. So here you can see that we can also convert from degrees to pi, right? This is going to become important. Now look at this 45. So if we take 45 degrees and now divide this by 180, it's going to give us this number. Now when we times it by pi, it's going to give us this value, 7, 8, 5. Okay, so what is this talking about? This is talking about, based on radians, this is the value of 1. And 7, 8, 5 basically appears right over here, where this 45 degree is. This is what this is about. Okay, so now what I want you to see over here is that if we take 45 degrees okay now here we're going to click on cosine this is the value on the x coordinate we get 707 this is showing you the location so here we're going to do a shift a and add a uv a sphere press the S key to scale this down quite a bit over here. Now here on the X we can just type in dot 707 and enter. When you see this number 707 this tells you that you are talking about 45 degrees. Now here if we go back to the calculator and type in 45 and now get the Y value which is the sign you will see that we get 707. So over here we're going to type in dot 707. This is where it appears. So this means that this is a right triangle, right? So if you click over here, click on a line and go ahead and just draw a line going like this to the X and then here we're going to go to the center over here. Click on this, we get a right triangle talking about the Pythagorean theorem right this is how this entire system works internally okay go ahead and now X this out we're going to use this ball a little later to understand this idea behind quaternion and X's angle so go ahead under a file and now do a save Okay, so what I want you to do now is go ahead and click on this object, do control A and do apply location. This is to move the origin point to the center of the 3D grid. Go ahead and do the same thing for this object, do control A and do apply location. Now you're going to click on this empty, press the shift key down, click on this circle, do shift control C and do copy location. This is so the circle can follow the empty. Go ahead and click on this empty, press the shift key down, click on this, do shift control C and do copy location. Go ahead and click on this empty, press the shift key down, click on this, do shift control uh, C and now do copy location. Go ahead and click on this empty, do alt R to reset the rotation. Here you can just do the middle mouse button to rotate your view like this and over here if you go to this tab, here you can switch this to arrows. Over here, what I want you to do is go ahead, do file, and save. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.